When working with isotopes, the notation calculating isotopes or the distribution of isotope ratios between two phases, very often we encounter the approximation that A minus 1 about equals the natural logarithm of A. So one prominent example without going in any details would be the fractionation factor alpha minus 1 equals delta A minus delta B or the natural natural logarithm of alpha also equals delta A minus delta B. And here there is this approximation that alpha minus 1 is the same as the natural logarithm of alpha. But even more, sometimes this approximation is written differently. Like for example, A is about the same as the natural logarithm of A minus plus 1. And in this case, this seems quite fine because one was just moved to the other side. However, sometimes there's also that A is about the same as the natural logarithm of A plus 1 within the brackets. And in this case, it's not possible to simply move the one from the one side to the other. Now, to illustrate why this approximation can be used, I'd like to um, plot these, these functions. And I start with the first one, which is A minus 1. So A is the parameter that is varied along the x-axis from, say, minus 2 to 2. And then I plot this, and of course you get this, this um, linear slope here. Now, in addition to this, I also plot, because it should be the same, the natural logarithm, which is written here as log of A, and plot it within the same, within the same diagram. And then we initially see that Yes, these two are very different. This is what we expected. However, also um, around an A value, which is on the x-axis of 1, the two functions are quite similar. So I make this um, interval much smaller, only between 0.9 and 1.1. And here we see that in this small interval, these two functions are really rather similar. And how similar? can find out by simply subtracting from the first function, from the first, well, which is always the y value, should be in normal brackets, and then minus this logarithm. And here we can see the difference then for this interval from 0.9 to 1.1. A difference at maximum here is 0 0.005. Now we need to go back to our problem we, we, we have. And if this small difference of 0 0.005 is negligible, then we can use this approximation. If this is important, we of course cannot use this approximation. So this approximation very much depends on the problem we are looking at. And this is also important for some notation. So if within a notation we use the, the, this, this approximation, this assumption has been made, we need to be aware of it because then the, the notation we use might not be applicable because of the um, underlying approximation used here. But very often for um, notation or fractionation factors, we are very close to 1, so somewhere around here, and then uh, the difference between the two functions becomes even more smaller and, and becomes negligible. This is why this is used. But we need to be aware of this, and um, in cases we might really um, use the, the, the proper um, initial function and not the approximation. Now what about these two other ways of um, approximations, when there's A equals natural logarithm plus 1? Now this is the end. Now to, to better illustrate this, I again make minus 2 to 2, and here as well, minus 2 to 2. And then we can see the difference. And the difference here is that here the linear slope is, has a um, y-axis intercept with minus 1, of course, because this is a minus 1. And here the interception is at the origin, because there is no y-axis intercept. However, the, the logarithmic function is shifted upwards. This is this plus 1. So this function shifted upwards from this position, shifted upwards 1. And now the third one. I showed was that the plus one is within the brackets. 
this is not within the bracket, so it should be in here. And what happens then is, so in this case, it was here, then it was shifted upwards, but also the, the linear slope was shifted. Now in this case, from the initial position where it was here, it was shifted to the left. This is what a plus one means within the brackets. And because of this shift to the left here, it is again here at this, um, well, well here is, is now has a similar um, y values as the linear slope. And one can see why people sometimes prefer this one here with a equals about a plus one, because this is the, the case around an x or a value of zero, which is for isotopes in delta notation something like this often used. So the important values here are one or zero, and depending on which one we have, we might use this first approximation or this approximation here. So this is about this um, approximation, and uh, we need to know how it works and need to be aware of it, because in cases we might not be able to use it.